Um, today I am reviewing The Judas Game by Ethan Cross. Check it out. Now this is um, the latest book in the Shepherd series. Now those of you that know me a little bit know that I'm like a huge, huge fan of this series. I absolutely love Ethan Cross's work and the whole Shepherd series is just awesome. It's just awesome. If you like action-packed thrillers that are going to keep you on the edge, keep you turning pages right there, this is one of those series you just got to read. You just got to read it. Anyway, in this one, this is the latest one, um, let me just check when this one's coming out. Okay, this has the publication of date of 4th of October 2016. Okay, I got um, an art copy of this by uh, um, the publisher sent it to me via NetGalley. And, um, oh wow, just wow. This is a definite five star, okay? And I had incredibly high expectations for this book because I've been a fan right from the beginning of this series and you know it's like when you discover a book in a series and you're like oh my god this is awesome this is like one of the best books that I've read in god knows how long and then you find out that another book's come out in the series and you're all excited about reading it um but at the same time you've got that whole like oh no but what if it doesn't live up to like the expectations that I have for it because the last one was so good you know this one's got to be just as good or even better and otherwise it'll ruin the series kind of so I had really high expectations for this and it met them oh yeah like seriously Ethan Cross can do no wrong as far as I'm concerned at, the moment, at least with this series anyway um, I absolutely love the characters um, anyway we have our Fed investigator Marcus Will Williams who is back again with his whole um, team through the Shepherds organization um, and in this one he's teaming up with his serial killer brother Francis Ackerman Jr. Um, because basically in this new um, super high-tech prison thing, basically one of the guards, um, he, he goes to one of the watchtowers and basically shoots a load of inmates and guards and stuff, um, which kicks off this whole um, investigation into what's going on anything and very quickly they realize that you know there is more to it than just that um just this this one attack um and uh basically through this you've got you've got the bad guy he well there's lots of bad guys actually the really big bad guy is judas okay who is basically um built this whole game thing to basically work on um, people's like wants and needs and things and he, he basically he uses everyone as puppets to get to his end result um, basically um, so there's there's other people thrown into the mix and things um, characters as always are just awesome I mean even Francis Ackerman Jr. who is like one of the worst serial killers like ever if you've read the series then you know just how like out there this guy is but at the same time Ethan Cross has this way of making the characters so real that um you know like the good guys are not all good they have sort of dark secrets and bad things about them and stuff and so do the bad guys. Like the bad guys, there's a part of you that's like, you feel sorry for them and, or whatever. And just like with Ackerman, you, you're you rooting for him to do the right thing and stuff and help his brother and the others 
and thing and all the while knowing that he is like totally out there and mental and not to be trusted and stuff it just like this is, what, this is why I love this series so much and why I'm such a huge Ethan, huge Ethan Cross fan. It's because he has these characters that are so in-depth and so complicated, but at the same time, just... Seriously, check out this series. Um, so anyway, yeah. I, I don't want to give away um, too much of the story. Um, if you haven't read the other books in this, in the Shepherd series, then I highly recommend that you do. Just go and do it now. Just go and get them all. Buy, buy the whole series and pre-order the Judas game because you won't be disappointed. Um, so anyway, there we go. Ethan Cross, the Judas game. Five stars. Um, if you have read any of these books, or maybe you've read another book by Ethan Cross, because I know he's written some other stuff as well. I think he wrote something with someone else as well. He did a collaboration piece. Um, anyway, I'm definitely going to go and check out um, more from him and, you know, be signing up for when new books do get released from this author, because seriously, just, oh! Um, but anyway, if you've read his books, um, if you feel the same way that I do about them, or if you don't, if you totally feel differently and, you know, you're not a fan, then let me know anyway. Um, it's good to, you know, chat about these things. Yeah, we don't have to all feel the same way about stuff. But I love these books. Um, so anyway, yeah, let me know. And, uh, anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, as always, please give it a like. And also, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads. And also, check out some of the other reviews that I've got on the channel here as well. I give that a like and a subscribe and a comment and everything else as well because, you know, we like that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, so that's it for today. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.